we just heard from Sakos's widow, Irene Sakos, who addressed mourners here. She described her husband as a devoted father, an internal optimist, as well as an adventurer. She said he was learning how to fly and had a dream she just he just told her about recently that he wanted to win the lotto, buy a plane, and travel with his family around the world. Thaso, you are the love of my life. I hope I made you proud. At St. Paraskevi, Greek Orthodox Church mourners sang and prayed over an open casket of Officer Anastasios Sakos. Outside police officers and the community gathered in a show of support for Sakos and his wife Irene and their two small children. The family moved to East Northport less than a year ago. I think it speaks for itself when you look around and you see all of these officers from all different areas of the state. I'm sure there's a lot of members from out of state recruits. Um, we're, we're all just here to support the family. We're here for the NYPD today. You know, it's, it's a brotherhood, law enforcement. We, we all wear the uniform. We take an oath to protect and serve. But we're here for the NYPD. We're here for the family. We're here for those two children that are going to grow up without their dad. The ceremony is expected to last several hours as people remember the 43 year old fallen officer. Officer Chacos, look down today from heaven. Look down on all of you who have filled this church here. And in your tears, in your pain, in your righteous anger, Back here live, what you're seeing behind me is officers lined up. This is part of the ceremony as Officer Sakos's body comes out of the church. The officers here will stand at attention and they will do that as the hearse leaves the road here as it goes to Sakos's burial site, which will be at Northport Rural Cemetery.